Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little bit more stuff, uh, a little small jobby stuff, leading into fuel stuff, leading into hopefully by the dark tonight this car is back on two wheels. So it depends on the UPS place, depends on I maybe FedEx, and also depends on. USPS. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm waiting on all that stuff. I'm also waiting on a phone call from Weapon X, so there's a lot of stuff going on. You guys, this is probably going to be a long video, but we'll see how far we get, so you guys just stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm kind of excited. USPS just showed up with that box right there. This box right here is the defining box of saying that it is now 99% possible that the rear wheels will be put on today. So that's all excellent news. So back to the action. First thing I'm actually work on is getting the coil packs done because then I got to mount those. I got to take back off. I got to take that header back off. Put that uh, bracket on and put the bracket on this side that holds the, new, the, the coil over the coils. And then I can put that header on back there on. And then I've got to put bolts in here to plug that off so I don't have oil just shooting everywhere. I'm waiting on the fuel rails from Weapon X, that's one thing. Guys, this, this engine's just about done. This thing right here just it just might be getting there. So other than that, you guys just uh, watch the time lapse of building this coil pack and uh, we'll go from there. Right, guys so I got that all I got those made and bolted in so that's good and that actually those three holes are actually to uh, mount the coil brackets in which they would mount like here somewhere like up here kind of in this area but I didn't want that my brackets are going to be down underneath the header so anyway that's what that was all about uh, now I'm going to go ahead and assemble the coil packs and uh, get those mounted and get the wires all, not the coil wires, but get the uh, um, these wires here, Ignis these wires here, get them uh, all taped up and everything. So we should see how long we, uh, see how far we get on that and then, uh, I don't know, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so 
on my coil mounting, actually mounting the bracket, um, there's no place here that obviously these three bolts here line up to. I think this is more if I was going to mount it on the firewall or something, but I really want to get it here on the block and I think this is about the best location for it because there's going to be nothing in the way, it's in the, not in the way of any of the plugs and I can utilize uh, some oil pan bolts if I have to to ensure that uh, it's got good stability. So I've got to come up with something using this. These pieces here that come with the bracketry that's meant to make to mount it up here. And then I got to use part of the old bracket. So <clears throat> luckily all that stuff's already like coated or painted or whatever. So I'm going to get something figured out. And when I get that done, then I'll be able to uh, go through and kind of show you guys what I did. Alright, so I went through uh, and kind of had an original idea, uh, so I took the bracket and I cut off a good piece of it and I bolted it to here. Bent it, it's a super strong, really strong steel here, so I bent it away from out and away from the block and then I was able to actually, I'm going to try and slide this back here so you can see anything. But, Try to utilize this bolt here which is connected to the bracket and then I drilled this one. I had to put washers on this one because this one down here is actually pushed back. Uh, so anyway, uh, I was able to do that. I've kind of mocked up some of the coils on how they go in there and I think it's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put that together now. Alright guys, so I kind of ran into a small hiccup here. Uh, I got the bottom bolt in, and um, the way these I thought should go, there's something very close and similar to that right there, which looks great. It looks phenomenal. Everything's great, except for trying to line up the bolt holes, just, just isn't there. So, I got a quick email in to a guy that at a Weapon X who got me these brackets uh, well they made them there but I don't there's no way that that's right uh, if I've got them bolted on here wrong then that's fine um, but if they swear up and down this is right it's obviously not so uh, what I can do is I can notch a little bit of a section out here and here and then bend these tabs down and then that'll probably put instead of them being straight up and down I'll probably put them out like that which is also not a terrible thing kind of gets it away from the block and still far enough away from the um, still far enough away from the header so a lot of stuff going on uh, but I think uh, it'll turn out we'll just have to wait on the email and kind of see what we got going on here all right so it's been a little while they haven't messaged me back so I'm just gonna make it work um, I cut with my Dremel, I cut a little groove in there, gave it room so I can bend it down. You can kind of see here, same thing. So uh, now I think that it somewhat uh, the bolt will slide through through the top of the coils and get it mounted. So we'll uh, see how it all turns out.
All right, guys, so I went ahead and done the other side without having to do the uh, time lapse or anything like that. I wanted to show you this side. This side's a lot easier to see. Uh, I know it's in quite proximity, quite close proximity to the exhaust manifold, but uh, everything, like, I think it's going to be fine. I might have to rewire, rewire or remove, re install or relocate however you want to say it uh some of the wires so if you look um i've got all this stuff here i've, I've got it heat coated and it's also uh splice taped um this looks really good this can actually go anywhere and then i got the extension coil extension harness uh, right here that runs it all the way up and then it'll plug in wherever it plugs in but that's it up there. So, <clears throat> coil wires will come from the spark plug holes and then just come down out of the way of the exhaust header. And so I got it wrapped and I've got this right here. So I think this is gonna protect uh, a lot of it from heat. We're gonna find out um, and then kind of go from there. So that's taken a lot longer than I expected but I did need to get that done so now that that's done I can move on to the next project which would be clean up and then I think fuel stuff so we'll uh, see how far we get along there guys so um i spent a lot of time on the coils and stuff like that and i also spent some time trying to dig and research this fuel thing because i wanted to make sure that it is correct and i ended up just kind of piecing it together myself so this uh, this right here is how everything sets the fuel pumps in uh this new harness hot wire harness is plugged in so when it gets underneath there I've got to run this all the way up to the alternator. Sorry, can't see anything. I gotta run this line right here all the way up to the alternator. Because it says so right on the thing. Right. There. And it comes with uh, these uh, new fittings and stuff for the battery and I gotta deal with this too. And so anyway there's a lot going on and tomorrow we'll be getting the tank back in and all that stuff so um, I'm done for the night I was wanting to get it back on two wheels but the coils all that stuff from weapon X took too long and I'm just aggravated as usual but made a lot of progress today got a lot of stuff done just trying to pick away at this stuff a little bit at a time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Sticking with the build. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.